I'm really hoping I don't get too used to starting all our creative talk sessions with people's quotes. <laughs> but I read this quote by an athlete named Kim Collins, and it read, strive for continuous improvement, not perfection. All right, creatives, let's talk about perfection. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your boy Levan here again, Focus Photography. Super excited to have you back in yet another video. So talking about perfectionism, here are a few tips I think could help you as a creative um, get through uh, the perfectionist syndrome. Tip one, have a structure. It's pretty simple. While structures can be um, boring, yeah, especially for people like me who like to be dynamic, creatives in general like to be dynamic. But um, while if you run something without a structure, it will only last for a short time. After a while, that thing will start to fail because there's no structure behind it. So have a structure. Tell yourself, okay, um, this is what I'm going to be doing, how I'm going to be doing it. So have a structure. Tell yourself, this is what I have to do every week. This is what I have to do every month for my work as a creative. So whether you're a writer, whether you're a cinematographer, whether you're a voiceover artist, whether you are a YouTuber like I am, you have to give yourself a structure say, I have to create this number of things, this number of ways, do you understand? Tip two, discipline. If you're a perfectionist, and I'm guessing you, you probably have, you know, discipline in you already. That is why you find it hard to just throw stuff out there. On, you, 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 can't, you can't throw stuff out there until they look the best. So um, if you're going to have a structure, structure will not balance without a, without discipline. So if you have a structure and you don't have discipline to follow that structure, that, that structure is not going to work. So keep that in mind. Tip three, have a plan. It's pretty simple. If you're going to have a structure, you need a plan to follow that structure. For example, if you decide to um, put, if you decide to put videos out every week, you need a plan for that. How, what are the days you're going to do your research? What are the days you're going to shoot those videos? What are the days you're going to make notes for those videos? Whatever you're going to be doing, you need a plan. So. Um, I don't need to talk much about this particular thing because it already makes sense considering that you have a structure and you are mustering the discipline to follow that structure. You need, you also need a plan that will help that structure work. Tip four, just do your best and leave the rest. Which is, this is my final tip for this video. I do not think that um, it's easy to just let things go like that, especially if you're a perfectionist. But what I'm sure of is that there's always a fault in every work of art. There's no work of art that you look at that doesn't have a fault. So either way, there, there, there'll still be a fault in anything. No matter how many times you do that particular video, no matter how many times you write that story, no matter how many times you write that blog post, there'll still be a mistake. There'll still be one fault or the other. So just do what you think, what you believe is best. And once you do it, let it sit in the wild. That idea does not belong in your head. It doesn't belong in your heart. It belongs in the wild. It belongs in the internet for people to see. So just do your best and leave the rest. It happens to me a lot when I when I, when I I take photos and I go into post to edit them and then I apply a filter or I do a particular form of editing and I like, Nah, let me let me touch this, let me touch this, and then I, I ruin the photo and then I have to start from the beginning again. So yeah, just do your best and leave the rest. Well guys, that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications by hitting the bell. Watch these videos on the screen right here because YouTube says they are the best for you to watch. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.